Broadcast has been set. Okay, the nine, the time is now 527. Okay. Madam Chair. Yes. For clarification, this is a, a appeals hearing, am I correct? It's a it's an appeals hearing, but we also added for Dr. I mean for our superintendent house to share with us Cora Rice about what's happening at Cora Rice. And we added that as an amendment. So you'll see it when we do the agenda with the amendment. And I believe it was put on board with docs. Am I correct, um, Ravel? Yeah, my, and question, we are recording. my question then is should this be in closed session or uh will be in closed session for that piece. Yes, it will be. We're just going through the motions now to close the session. I understand that, but before we go into close, I want to make sure that we aren't uh, in violation of closing a meeting and uh, including something on the agenda that should be discussed in the public. That's my concern and, and that's my question. Okay, the core rights should not be discussed in the public because as I understand it has not been confirmed there is there's possible litigation so that is that, why that's I, all i needed to hear uh, okay, that's my, my concern thank you what's so you know why it was put on a closed session thank you you're welcome and I, he, i'm saying here because i'm present so okay. i'm i'm okay. silencing myself <laughs> okay um miss adeline uh, please call the roll for attendance mrs adam stafford here Ms. Wooda Strother? Here. Mr. Briggs? Present. Dr. Harris? Mr. Jackson? Mrs. Asaya Frazier? Dr. J. Miller? Present. Dr. Z. Miller? Present. Mr. Murray? Mrs. Rout? Ms. Walker? Present. Ms. Rivera Forbes? Present. Mrs. Mickens Murray? Present. Thank you. With eight board members present, we have a quorum. With the quorum present on March 14, 2024, the Prince George's County Board of Education meeting will come to order. Good evening, everyone. The meeting was called to receive legal advice and review student and personnel appeals. Motion to close to go into closed session. I move to close the March 14, 2024 virtual special closed session. Seconded and slowly to offer. It has been moved and seconded to close the meeting. Ms. Adeline, please take a roll call vote. Mrs. Adam Stafford? Okay. Aye. Ms. Buddha Strother? Aye. Mr. Briggs? Aye. Dr. J. Miller? Dr. J. Miller? Aye. Dr. Z. Miller? Aye. Ms. Walker? Aye. Ms. Rivera Forbes? Aye. Mrs. Mickens Murray? Aye. There are eight votes in the affirmative. There are zero votes in the negative. The affirmative has it, and the motion to close the meeting is adopted. And please, everyone, um, mute your mics because I can hear some talking in the background. Reading of the statutory authority to close the session. This meeting will only be closed under the provisions of cited below, all from general provisions, Article 3, 305B to discuss the appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, res resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom the public body has jurisdiction. Any other personnel matter that affects one or more specific individuals. Two, to protect the privacy or reputation of individuals concerning a matter not related to public business. Seven, to consult with uh, counsel to obtain uh, legal advice. Eight, to consult with staff, consultants, and other individuals about pending or potential litigation. 
12 to conduct or discuss an investigation proceeding or actual or possible criminal conduct. This statement was read by the presiding officer, Judy Mickens Murray, chair of the Prince George's County Board of Education. Board members, we will now we now request you to exit this meeting um, and immediately log into the closed session using the link designated special, specifically for you. The link will be from the sender Board of Education, which has been sent to you. Now we will log out and sign in to the closed session. Thank you. Um, Cindy, do you think you could text me the um, link for this next session? Yes, I'll have Rosa send it to you right now. Thank you. <laughs> 